Well, Madison's police chief has been in the news recently for various reasons, but who is the real Mike Koval? It's a question columnist Doug Moe recently wrote about for Madison Magazine, and he's here with more. Good Hi, to see Doug. You, Doug. Good afternoon. That was quite the article. So much went into it. Uh, how long have you been working on this? It was a journey. It was, uh, I started last fall. The editors at Madison Magazine knew they wanted to do something on, on police. Policing, obviously, a big topic nationally for a lot of reasons. Um, I suggested profiling the chief. You know, he intrigued me. I, he's a West High guy like I am, but I had never <laughs> met him. Um, you know, he, had this, he, ha he has a reputation for progressive policing, community policing, this sort of thing, and yet here he is faced with the death of Tony Robinson and criticism that he's, his force is too aggressive. So you had this kind of dynamic working, and I thought it would be interesting to, to spend some time with him. What surprised you? What didn't you expect to find? I guess how all-consuming uh, the job is. From I led with, uh, for folks that have seen the article, you know, he, he had this beloved dog that he ended up having to, to he and his wife had to, had to give away. A to, great to, 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 Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said he could take out two lamps in the living room just <laughs> turning around. You know? But um, he knew, you know, he'd been at the, on the force 30 years. Uh, he knew that, and especially given the tenor of the times, that taking over as chief, was going to be all-consuming and it wouldn't be fair to his dog among you know a lot of other considerations um, so I think that was it Mark really um, just how tough it is to be a police chief today not just in Madison of course you know out in Pittsburgh uh, Cameron McClay their chief uh, resigned after two years on the job last year he had been in Madison for 30 years he was a captain here he uh, he resigned and, and Mike Koval called him up and said, you know, what's going on? And he said, you know, Mike, I, I can finally exhale now. Yeah. Uh, you know, it had been so tough. Mm -hmm. so. Um, in the article, you talked about how his uncle tried to talk him out of becoming a police officer, but it didn't work. He's like, maybe try the FBI. And so he went to law school. Right. And then to the FBI, but he was still drawn to the force. He actually started out to, uh, he went to j journalism school. Mm, in Madison right. and had mm -hmm. the smart uh, the smarts to get out of that. <laughs> to get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, but yeah, he had policing in his family, but his uncle knew about the downside. You know, he knew the tough hours, the fact, and he told Mike this, you know, you're seeing people oftentimes at their very worst. Um, you know, give this some, some long, hard thought. And so he did. He went out and was with the FBI for a couple of years, but I think he missed Madison. I think he missed kind of being more hands-on than, than he would have been at the FBI. And then he got into, of course, training and recruiting, which before he was chief, he was that here in Madison, the, the sergeant in charge of that for 20, 25 years, something like that, 30 maybe. Um, and he loved that job. And there were times when I was talking to him doing this story where he kind of was second guessing himself a little bit. I could have been just everybody's <laughs> buddy, you know, as mm -hmm. the recruiter, but I stepped into this, uh, you know, mm -hmm. into the fire. Do you think he loves this job? I don't know if love would be the word, but I think he's passionate about it. He's a passionate, I wanted to call the story the passions of Mike Koval that got overruled, which is all right. <laughs> <laughs> the writers don't write the headlines, you know. Um, so I think he's passionate about it. I think, uh, as he says towards the end of my piece, um, he's still unsure about his impact, um, whether he can bring his ideas of community policing to the, you know, the city at large. Uh, he thinks the jury's still out, but he's hopeful. Frankly, I think what happened today with the PFC um, ruling that, uh, you know, uh, he won't be disciplined um, is a big burden off him. Um, I, so I think, you know, going forward, uh, I think he's probably hopeful. Many challenges ahead. Mm -hmm. Great reading in the current issue oh, of Madison thanks. Magazine. Mm -hmm. Doug, great to see you as usual. Nice to see you. See you soon. Thank you.